This is Leah Gooch, and I am here to share with you some of the class that I've been teaching for the last few years in jails and prisons in New York State, and a few workshops at conferences here and there. The class combines yoga, meditation, and writing. Sometimes the writing comes first, then the yoga, then the meditation. Sometimes the meditation comes first, and then there's the writing, and then the yoga. They're going to be a little bit of a mix and match, which is why I'm going to make three separate videos. So one's going to be writing, one's going to be yoga, one's going to be meditation, so that you can choose your point of entry that works for you. That's part of the beauty of this class. It's kind of like a one-size-fits-all situation, and so that is your choice as to where you want to start the class. I developed this class while essentially living in South America for eight months, not realizing that's what I was doing, developing a class, but I was just doing the class myself. Every day when I was living, I was backpacking, um, staying in hostels, and sort of resorting what I was doing with my life. I would wake up in the morning and think, what, the, what am I doing with my life? And then, I still do that sometimes, <laughs> but I would think, I'd, I'd think oh, I'll worry about this after I do yoga, meditate, and write. So I'll have a little more clarity. And so I would meditate, go to a yoga class, come home, and write. A lot of stream of consciousness writing, um, which was very helpful in getting thoughts out and then inviting other more deeply seated thoughts to come out as well. I'll share with you a quote from a student I had in a, the jail three years ago, I think it was. And he said in a feedback form, some people come to jail wanting to change their lives but don't know where to start. This class gives you a place to begin. So I'm not implying anyone needs to change anything um, but if you have your world shifted a bit as a result of this self-quarantine situation, there are already changes around you. So as you know, the only thing that you can really change is your reaction to things. So this class, these exercises might help inform the way you respond and have you respond in a way that is more with love and kindness and compassion and empathy and all of these traits, it all starts with yourself and then it reverberates out. So it's not so much starting with the outside, but more of going within. There was a quote that I read many times and it was kind of glued. I couldn't find the piece of paper because it's like torn up, but that's not why I couldn't find it. I can't find it because I misplaced it, but it's this torn up piece of scrap paper that I had written this quote and read every day for months when I was living in South America to remind myself that it was the internal work that was gonna make the true difference in the way that I saw the world. And the quote is from uh, Juno Diaz. I think that's how you say his name. He says, but if, the year, if, but if these years have taught me anything, it is this. You can never run away, not ever. The only way out is in. So with that, I invite you to try taking the next three segments, the yoga, the meditation, and the writing, doing the best you can with what you've got. Because that's what I'm doing. I hope you enjoy.